Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inbound with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson and joining us today is Miles Burris. Hi Miles. Hi, how you doing? Good, nice to meet you. Nice so, to meet you. I heard you grew up in Granite Bay. I did, yeah, Granite and Bay. And you attended high school in Granite Bay. What sports did you play while you were attending high school? I actually just stuck with football when I was in high school. You did? Yes. So how did you manage to balance football and also academics and still keep your grades up? Yeah, it's really time management is one of the, the best things high school and, uh, you know, just playing sports and going to school at the same time can teach you. Um, you know, what, what I would do is right when I get home, I, just before you do anything, before you do anything fun or watch TV or go see your friends, you get your homework done. And that's kind of a rule my parents uh, made me stick with and I'm glad that they did. That's a good rule. Yeah. yeah. Did you manage to keep a social life or was that a little tough? No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, especially playing sports, it's that's kind of, you know, those are all your buddies and that's that's uh, your group that you hang out with. And it's, it's, you know, easier to make some friends and those are the guys you want to stick with too. They're staying out of trouble and keeping busy. That's very good. So how did you go about choosing San Diego State for your school? Uh, San Diego State was actually, that was my only in-state offer. And I love Southern California, so I knew that if I wasn't playing football, that's probably where I wanted it's to end up school. anyways. Yeah, it's a great school, and it has a good business program, and that's what I ended up majoring in. Oh, so you that was my next question. You you had a business major. Is that what you were? Yeah, business management. And what were you hoping to do with that degree? Uh, my dad's a business owner. I don't I don't know if I'm going to take that same path. For right now, I'm really just focusing on staying in the league for as long as I can and playing this game that I love. Um, but obviously, at some point, I'm going to be entering the business world, and uh, that'll be helping me out a lot. Excellent. So uh, this year, you were drafted by the Oakland Raiders, fourth round pick, and you are a starter. Can you tell us what that feels like at such an, a young age to have so much on you right now? Yeah, it sounds, it's cliche to say, but it really is surreal. It's, it's Everything's been moving so fast that I haven't really been able to fully comprehend uh, the position that I'm in. It really is, it's my childhood dream. I'm living my dream, but, you know, at the same time, it's, it, it's business every day, you know, all the time, and, and uh, it's just football when you go out there and start playing. So can you tell me in your own words, what is your job on the field? Job on the field is to stop the guy with the ball, you know, <laughs> just put it, uh, keep it simple. There's a lot of, a lot of details, uh, especially in the NFL. There's, there's, I'm still learning so much every day. Um, but, you know, I just try to go out there and fly around and make plays and make sure you're always playing until the end of the whistle. Excellent. And so can you tell us maybe what your favorite healthy meal is? Um, my, I love the way my wife cooks. She always, we always start off with some sort of a salad, uh, get my greens in, and then have some sort of like a lean meat and like a, she's been making lately this quinoa salad. It's a, it's a type of rice and she mixes in all sorts of vegetables in it. It's really good and uh, it's good. I try to eat as healthy as I can because that's uh, got to fuel the tank. I haven't heard of that. I'm going to go home and Google it now. That sounds good. Um, what about your favorite exercise? Do you have an exercise that you favor? Um, yeah, there's the coaches, uh, strength coach Al Miller and coach Grico, they, they keep us on top of making sure we get the right workouts in to um, try to you know maintain throughout the season and also do some, some injury prevention type work and uh, you know make sure that, that your body's keeping up weight and everything of that nature. Excellent. Can you take us through what a typical day is like for you now? Like even today, what's it like for you? You have to wake up. I know you have a pretty rigorous schedule. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So usually a, a typical day is I'll wake up at 530 and get on the road and, and uh, 
uh, get here, get some breakfast in, and sometimes you got to get treatment over here and just uh, make sure you you know get in the ice tub and, and prevent your injuries and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I'll get in the weight room in the morning before meetings, and, uh, and then at seven o'clock we'll we'll meet with just the linebackers and go to special teams. You do all the all the meetings, and then you come out here and we just finish practice, and then uh, so now after this I'm gonna go and get in the ice tub, get showered, and eat lunch, and then we go do some more meetings till about four. That is a busy day. Yeah. So um, up to this point, can you tell me, did you ever have somebody that you looked up to or somebody that you maybe uh, idolized as, as a youngster, or even now, that inspired you? Yeah, I mean, there's there's been a really a lot of people in the course of, you know, my football career, even though this is the only time I'm in the NFL, but going through all my years, there's always somebody that you look up to that's a little bit older, that's always doing something, doing the right thing. and. Uh, leading by example, and you just a lot of times you can learn the most from people, even if you're not asking them about about anything. They're not giving you advice, you know, speaking to you, but you just see the way they live their lives. Um, like right now on our team, we got a guy Matt Giordano and like Marcel Reese. Those guys, they, you know, they're not always talking the most, but you just see it in their lifestyle that they're doing everything right. They're putting their work in, and uh, you know, it shows it, they reap the benefits on the field. Oh, that's very good. So um, I guess that's about all the questions I have for you right now. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add or anything that I missed that you want to tell people or uh, hi to your wife? You want to say hi to her? Hey, Jenna. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, Raider Nation, we, we appreciate your support. Go Raiders. Excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time with us. And if I don't see you out here on the field, happy Christmas to you and your family. And thank you for taking time with us. Thanks for having me. You bet. This has been another edition of The Inbound with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson. Until next time.